Mastering Transitive Phrasal Verbs Writing Like a Pro Hello Language Enthusiasts! Welcome back to our ongoing series on Mastering English Grammar. Today, we're diving into a key aspect of the language that can make your written English so much more colorful and dynamic. Transitive Phrasal Verbs A transitive phrasal verb is a type of verb phrase that includes a verb and a preposition, or an adverb, or both. The unique thing about transitive phrasal verbs is that they must have an object after them to complete their meaning. For example, consider the phrasal verb, turn on. It's meaningless unless you include an object after it, like in the sentence, can you turn on the light? Here, the light, is the object which completes the phrasal verb, turn on. There are plenty of transitive phrasal verbs in English. Let's look at some common ones. 1. Bring up, to start a discussion about a new topic. Example, he brought up a good point during the meeting. 2. Look after, to take care of. Example, can you look after my dog this weekend? 3. Call off, to cancel. Example, they called off the meeting due to bad weather. Remember, you can't understand the meaning of these phrases by looking at the words separately. The meaning comes from the whole phrase together, and they must have an object to make sense. When using transitive phrasal verbs, the object can typically go either directly after the verb or at the end of the sentence. For instance, both, can you turn on the light, and, can you turn the light on, are correct. However, if the object is a pronoun, like, it, or, them, it must go directly after the verb. So, can you turn it on, is correct, but, can you turn on it, is not. Well, that's it for our introduction to transitive phrasal verbs. I hope this lesson has demystified this element of English grammar for you, and I can't wait to see you incorporating these into your own writing. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try using some new transitive phrasal verbs today. Until our next video, keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, have fun doing it.